give me a few years the world will understand big big plans those were whiskey tweets on the 10th of january 2015 we now understand with kids. I mean, his plans are so big and he's been making numbers, he's been doing numbers, he's been breaking records. Recently, we have this good news that Whiskey just broke his own record. He set at the O2 Arena. He sold out tickets for 12 minutes. And the part two of the show, yeah, let me face it that way, the part two of the Made in Lagos show in the O2 Arena came up. Whiskey also broke his own record by selling out tickets in two minutes. Isn't that wonderful? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and humbly welcome to Jungle Entertainment. Here we'll give you hundreds of trending issues in Nigeria, in Africa, and the world at large. Please, for those that are doing, I mean, do it with the subscribe button, the bell, and also like so as to stay updated with the times. As I said earlier, Whiskey has been doing very well. He's been doing numbers, he's been selling, especially his son Essence, the one he did with Thames and also Justin Bieber. And recently, Thames has been doing very well. She'll be featured by one of the hottest musicians on planet Earth, Drake. Yeah, Jake is one of the hottest musicians on planet Earth, and his album, Certified Lover Boy, will be released today. And guess what? Well, if you talk about Thames, his album, Whiskey Two just broke his own record at the O2 Arena. This feels so unreal, but it is real, very real. Whiskey just broke his previous record, selling out the O2 Arena of 20,000 capacity in two minutes for the second time. His previous record was selling the arena weeks ago in just 12 minutes. A few weeks back, he sold out the arena. In 12 minutes and remember the o2 arena the capacity of the arena is 20,000. yeah you can hold 20,000 people comfortably and whiskey sold out the arena a few weeks ago in 12 minutes and he just broke his own record again this week by selling out the o2 this arena guy has minutes. two shows slated for the o2 arena one on the 28th of november 2021 and because of demand the demand became very high fans in the united kingdom were complaining that come you have so many shows Slated for the United States and also Canada. Why bring only one show to the United Kingdom? I mean, you have so many fans here. Yeah, we'll be supporting you right from the one that he should do something else. Okay, that they needed for, another, show, another show. And now Whiskey had to fix a date too. 29th of November 2021. And guess what? The tickets were sold out in just two minutes. Whiskey has been breaking record. I mean, he's been doing very well. Because to Whiskey, this Made in Lagos album is like one of Whiskey's best. The year this is fourth studio album, but it's like his best so far because he's been making numbers. He's been um, yeah, especially the song he did with Times Essence. That song is like the song of, of the summer. It's like one of the hottest songs on planet Earth right now. You, you can't count five songs that are trending right now without bringing in Essence, Whiskey featuring Times or Whiskey or the remix of the song Essence where Justin Bieber brought in his with pop culture with the Afro beats. That song is lit. They did, they did a very good job, and as I said earlier, it's like one of the top five hottest songs on planet Earth right now. According to what Whiskey said, that he has big plans, and we are seeing the plans. Yeah, not just hearing it, we are seeing it in motion. Big ups to you, Whiskey. Congratulations to you. Well, let's dive on to Thames. Thames did a good job. She did a, a fantastic job on the song Essence. She played a wonderful role on that song. I mean, her parts on... on that song is like lit. Everybody keeps saying, who is this Thames? Because of that, Thames has blown. There's one good thing about Whiskey. If you do a song with Whiskey, you blow. Yeah, as I said in one of my uh, videos, Whiskey was born with this music embedded in him. He didn't just come to planet Earth to learn music. He came to planet Earth with music in him. If Whiskey features you, you blow. That's one good thing about whiskey. Whether you are a DJ, you are a producer, you are a singer, or a songwriter, if you work with whiskey, you blow. That is exactly what has happened with Thames. She worked with whiskey, and after a few months, she she be featured by Drake, who is one of the hottest musicians on planet Earth right now. Because Drake has been setting records. I mean, his records on Spotify is still on match. Nobody has broken that, that record. And we are hoping he will break his own record just as Whiskey just did on the O2 Arena with his album Certified Lover Boy, which will be dropping anytime. Still talking about this, there was a report that earlier this year the Canadian rapper Drake followed Thames on following Thames that had led to a collaboration between Drake and Thames. Big up to you, Thames. Regarding the Certified Lover Boy album, Drake has been promoting the album on the, the names of the people he featured on the album Certified Lover Boy. According to Drake, According to one of the billboards, it reads, Hey, New York, the goat is on CLB. 
No, people keep keep asking who is that goat that Drake is referring to that is in New York. Some people are saying it's Jay Z because Jay Z is from New York City, and Jay Z to so many places out there is the greatest of all time rapper. And that be what it is. Hey Houston, the hometown hero is on CLB. Who do you think is the hometown hero of Houston? Please don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section below. Still on the billboard adverts, we have this other message regarding yeah, the say, final about Avion and TY dollar are on CLB. And also another billboard inscription reads, Hey Chicago, so small is on CLB. CLB. Hey Nigeria, Thames is on CLB. So Drake confirmed that Thames was featured on the album Certified Lover Boy. We are waiting patiently because the album will be dropping anytime soon. And also, still on the people future, other b bot description to the reads Hey Atlanta, Slime, Pluto, Savage, and Baby are on oh. Safari Lover Boy. We are waiting for the full album to drop the Safari Lover Boy by Drake. You know, Drake is, yeah, he's a lover boy when it comes to music. He sings a lot. He does very well in the rap industry. He's been breaking records, he's been setting paces. And for him to feature Thames, that means Thames has been doing very well. Big up to you, Thames, for being featured on Drake's album, Safari Lover Boy. We're still talking about people that have been breaking records, you know, we've mentioned Sean Whiskey, we've mentioned Drake, and also Thames, who has been doing very well. Let's talk about football a bit. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo does transfer from Juventus to Manchester City. And guess what? Cristiano Ronaldo entered the Guinness Book of Record as the first player to score the most international goals. Yes, he really deserves this because he has scored 111 goals so far. And he's not ready to give in yet. He's still playing. He's still putting in his best. Maybe before the end of his career, he might score like 130 or he's a goal scorer. We all know him for that. And Man U fans out there are seriously jubilating since Cristiano Ronaldo came back to Old Trafford. As I said earlier, there's, there's one good thing about, I mean, being being good at what you do. Miss Kit has been doing very well in the music industry. I mean, putting placing Nigeria on the world map. So we have that whiskey effect. If whiskey features you or you work with whiskey, you definitely come out strong or you blow to, you blow to. That's exactly what's happening around Cristiano Ronaldo. In my last video, I discussed about Cristiano Ronaldo, his deals, his achievements, and his trophies. Cristiano Ronaldo right now is like a brand, and he has an effect. Cristiano Ronaldo came back, when Cristiano Ronaldo came back to Manchester United, they had just 679,000 followers on Instagram. But right now, they have 4.43 million I imagine, followers. I mean, from thousands to millions, not just 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4.43 millions. See, Cristiano Ronaldo came back from Juventus to Manchester United. That is truly the impact of Ronaldo or the Ronaldo effect. Big up to you, Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, I know many fans will be out there, I mean, praying and hoping that here yeah, they will win the Premiership and maybe the Champions League this season. What are thoughts on that? Do you really think Mayu will be able to win the Premiership yeah. and the Champions League? Because season. we can't say enough about Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been doing very well. When it comes to the game of football, he's regarded as one of the greatest players of all time. And as I said, he just entered the Guinness Book of Record. Thank you very much for watching the Mr. Entertainment. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell button, the like button, to update with all the trending issues. Take care of yourself.